thank you so much to Card Market for sponsoring today's video. Hello everyone, my name is Filipa. Welcome back to a new YouTube video. Today I'm going to be playing standard best of one with one more rotation proof deck and this one is the Mir Mill. I know a lot of people love Mill, some other people really dislike Mill. It's still going to be viable in standard after rotation but we are going to lose some cards and I'm going to talk about them during this intro. Now, if you are not aware why am I doing these rotation proof decks, I'm playing only cards that are going to stay legal in standard after the rival of Bloomboro. Bloomboro is going to arrive I think in the beginning of August so we only have a couple more weeks of the standard before it rotates. Four sets are going to no longer be legal in standard after that. Midnight Ant, Crimson Vow, Streets of New Capena and Kamigawa. So those cards they are gone. That means for this deck no Tawara, no Takanuma, uh, that means no Memory Deluge, I think that's the biggest loss is the Memory Deluge, no Path of Peril if you're playing some of those main to get rid of some pesky aggro decks, so uh, unfortunately those cards are going to rotate out of standard, but as this deck loses some cards, other decks will also lose some cards, so it ends up evening out. Some decks are going to com be completely unviable. I'm thinking, for example, the Tamur Lands deck, all those lands that sacrifice, they are going to no longer be standard legal because they are from Streets of New Capena. That means that bye bye Tamur Lands deck, deck is no longer viable at all. But this deck, Let's take a look at what I've built. Another thing we lost, by the way, was the lands. So the lands, uh, every deck kind of lost. The ones that if you have uh, two or more, it enters untapped. Those lands are rotating out for all the colors. So yeah, if you like those, unfortunately, it's bye-bye or for most of colors. Here is a version 100% rotation proof. We are playing three steps ahead, three cut downs, three deduces. Two fairy masterminds, so this is really good if you're trying to your opponent's trying to get extra cards, you also get even more extra cards. Two Jake Reawakened. I really like this card. I don't play four of it because maybe it's a bit too much. You can only play it from turn four and beyond, but it is really good and you can plot a lot of cool cards. You can plot fairy mastermind, the deuce, go for throat, all these good things. And the ultimate is really good. I really like trying to use the ultimate, the minus six, to then make two copies of Rich the Multiverse, and usually that will alone just mill them out. Uh, then we have three Go for the Throat, two Long Goodbye, two Should Resist It, so a lot of removal and di diversified removal, which I think it is important to diversify our removal. Uh, and then we have two Outrageous Robberies, another card that I actually really, really enjoy from Mother Murders at Karlov Manor. So very cool card to try to steal your opponent's cards uh, and drain them of even more resources. So the less cards they have, the more likely you are going to win because don't forget, you're not aiming for the 20 life for them to lose, you're aiming for the 60 cards that they run. If you're against a deck that has 200 cards, it's going to be a bit more tricky, but we can get there. We have two Tishana's Type Binder, we have four Jays, the Perfect Mind. Obviously, this is the deck that inspires everything, and it's still going to be legal, so you can play it all you want. And usually you want to use the minus X target player mills three times X cards when you already have enough to finish your opponent off. The Jace comes with 5 counters if you played 4 mana for it, so that's 15 cards. If you have 2 Jaces, that's like 30 cards, so things stack up, especially after you already deny them of resources and cards with cards like Outrageous Robbers and Breach of the Multiverse. We have 3 Deadly Cover-Up. As I said, Pad of Peril is no longer legal in Standard, or it's not no longer going to be legal in standard. So Deadly Cover Up is the second best thing we have. We can try against the aggro decks earlier on the game, just go for Throat, Long Goodbye, Edict, cut down all those good things. Later on the game, if we are still alive, we try to Deadly Cover Up. If we can collect evidence, we can tr try to take some of the key cards, depending on the decks that are playing and try to then gain advantage. Another card that I was not playing before but because the set is rotating and because we no longer can play Memory Deluge and other cards, I decided to bring the Orn Lock Whale. It has the left side, which kind of reminds me of Otowara, but even a bit better. So if your opponent is attacking with a creature, 
you can pay two and they have to put it on the top or bottom of the library so that delays them quite a bit and even if they are playing control you can just flash out a six, six mana six six with war two so it's not too bad for lands it's a bit different because as i said some lands are rotating so we're playing five islands seven swamps four dark sleet chores four restless reef and four underground river you can also play the surveil ones in this case i'm just playing four restless reefs because i really like the fact that we can transform it into a four four and make our opponent start milling cards but go ahead and also you can play the surveil one it's also pretty good that's it everyone I think it's enough on an explanation, but let me know what you think of this deck and let me know if you're excited for the rotation and for Bloomboro. Now let's play some games. Okay, so the opponent goes first. I think I can keep this. It's not great, but it has potential. Now it really depends on what they are playing, to be honest. Oh, I have a Jace, but I cannot use the Jace very soon. They're playing Golgari. I love me some Golgari. So we do have Gopher Throat, but I'm going to wait to see if they saddle something. They are looking for land and they, they didn't find it, so that's kind of huge. Next turn I do have my Jake. Not Jake, Jace. I don't know why I keep calling it Jake. Ooh, that's rough for them. I have too many lands, so let's discard one of them. And I can draw a card with a clue. They got the land, okay, so that's good. At least we're going to play magic. Oh, and they're ramping, okay. So after all, not too bad. Hmm. Let's discard the other Jace. Now I have counter magic, I have the Shenna's Tide Binder, I have Shield Red Zedict, so I have a lot of options. I want to do minus six of the Jace and do Breach the Multiverse. Okay. Mm, so they did not attack. Kind of expecting that they attacked. Okay, so next turn I definitely wanna go for the minus Jace and then breach. Let's see if they allow us. They are helping you with the meal. They should have put it on the bottom to have the most chances to meal it, I guess. So what else do they have? They do have some things, but... A lot of mana available. Come on, just let me minus and breach. That's the only thing that I ask for. If they have 3 mana, they can play a Dread Knight. And they still have 5 cards, so they have to have something that they can play. At least one of those Dread Knights, for sure, they can just play it. 
They might have another Trespasser, they might have another Stomper, another Bronco. Okay, another Bronco. Let's see how this works. Kill point, let me do it, don't concede, please, 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 please don't concede. Don't do it! Please. Let me have fun. I'm begging you. Okay. Not cool. I go first, I'll keep it. I mean, I do have good mana. I have the cut down, which is nice. And I have board wipe, which is also pretty cool. Okay, so I'll be able to play this Jace eventually. Unfortunately, I'm playing against control. And I don't really have counter magic or anything right now. Okay, let's try these now. That way, if they, have to, they have to use the three steps ahead, they cannot use a... Uh, they cannot use uh, Oh, or that one, okay, sure. I mean, but now you kind of leave me with an opportunity, as long as you don't have spell pierce. I'm going to minus, I want to draw against them. No secret escapes my the deuce is good. They give me some map to- ooh, okay, they also have it. I'll take note of all your failures. That's rough, I don't really have a way to... Unfortunately, I don't have a way to kill it yet. I have Breach eventually, but I'm sure they have counter magic, that's an issue. Not the deuce. Let's try this Jace for three only. That way if they have no more lies. Okay, that's good. That's minus. Kinda need a land. So they have Wandering Emperor, okay. Okay, I did get a land, so not too bad. I mean, I do have the deadly cover-up. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of ways to deal with Planeswalkers in this deck. Yeah, but my Jace survives another day. Let's see if this resolves. Okay, so they have Deluge. I'm not playing Deluge. Deluge is obviously great, but it's going to rotate. That's why I'm not playing it. Yeah, that's actually pretty good against them, isn't it? No! I wanted to do this in response, but it's okay. Remember your training.
So I want to try to attack the one Re-Emperor here. That resolving is actually pretty huge. Yeah, that was pretty logic. We'll see what else what else they have. That's okay. So they create another one that makes sense. Although I do have the deadly cover up. I want my Jace to survive, so let me try to do this. He does? Okay, that's pretty good. Let's try this. They might have a way to deal with my Fairy Mastermind, but... I feel like drawing cards is really important for us. Ah, so there's a Tidebinder. Okay, that's fine. That way they also don't get the card. So does this resolve? Do I have to collect evidence? You know what? That's fair. Let's pass. I'll try it again next turn. That's fair. Strike fast and strike hard. You can be made to obey. I'll take it. Let's see if this resolves. It does, okay. That way I'm going to try to go for the Planeswalkers. Thank you, I guess. So let's see if this one resolves. Okay, so they're looking for an answer. They did not find it. Ah, uh, they they just concede. They all just concede. I mean, okay, great, I guess. They know they cannot win after exile some of their key cards, and we are not playing cards from the new set, from the older sets, and they are. They have the memory deluge that I don't. So let's go. I go first. I definitely can keep these. It's pretty good. Not sure what my opponent is playing, but okay. A cave deck. Okay, so they're caving. I feel like my, this matchup should be favored for me. We shall see. And I have two Jaces, which should be pretty good. I really don't want to give them that much ramp yet. Okay, not bad. I want to start milling them. I feel like drawing cards is important as well. 
Yeah, cause see, if I use the plus, I wouldn't do anything. At least that way I did draw a card. And I'll do it again. Ooh, okay, stealing card seems good. They already have 8 in the grave. I need them to have 20. So, still a bit far off. Okay. They went for some robbery. I can do the same. Also, my lens can start milling them. They have two cards that they stole from me, and they have five cards in hand. I have the Orn Lock Whale if they activate these, or I have Shieldred's Edict, so I have a lot of answers. Hopefully they didn't get a Bridge the Multiverse from me. Okay, that's fine. They might have a removal, but that's fine. It's okay. Okay, so all the cards they stole from me are already revealed. Good thing no bridge the multiverse was stolen. So now I do have the robbery eventually. Yeah, if I activate that, I know what I want to do. I'll let them attack. The exile from my grave, which is interesting. They might have a way to protect the cottage, but I doubt it, really. Maybe they want to mill me, I don't know. Okay, so they want to get rid of Jace, that makes sense. So let's pass and then we'll see what we can steal from them. I have one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can rob five cards. Not too bad. They probably also have Jace in this deck, I would say. They're looking at their grave, so maybe they have ways to recoup cards from their grave. Ah, I see. So they want to draw and they want to exile something. Probably Jace. Yeah. Well, if I steal them a Jace, it doesn't matter, right? Let's see what we steal from them. Fortunately, I didn't steal, but we steal another. We steal another robbery. Not bad. Sure. Let them draw the cards. I want them to mill out eventually. They have only 28 left. So now I would be stealing 6 cards. They're also milling me, by the way, which is not great. I only have 31 cards left. They're getting lands from me, which is also not good. Okay, so let's try to rove them six cards. Mm. 
they had enough they didn't want to give me more cards i mean fair enough i was playing with two decks opponent goes first i feel like i can keep this it's a decent end so why not Ooh, okay so they are playing some Orzov. That can be Orzov Bronco. It can be Orzov Life Gain. So there's a lot of things that this can be. Uh, and that's fine. I mean, you know. Okay. Cannot really play the Jace yet. So I'm just going to play a Tap Plant. I can eventually cut down. Ooh, okay. I cannot cut down that. But that is rotating out of magic. Okay, so let's make them sack it. Can we still keep the cut down. Another one bites the dust. You know what? That's completely fair. I could Jace. But then I cannot play something else. I'm just going to pass. So I'm wondering what happens when I Tidebinder these. I think it becomes just a 4-4. Yeah, so it's just a 4-4 with no effects. Which granted is not great for me, but... I want them to cast like a small creature. Okay, that's actually fine. So they need a land. I guess that's why they did that. I can always three steps ahead, so I'm just going to attack. I can draw cards and discard as well, which is nice. Yes, that's a 4-4. Four, four. I have to take it. I mean, our life totals are quite close, and I have the Restless Reefs as well. Yeah, so that we counter and then we draw this card. What do they have with one mana? Okay, so they have a cut down. Fair enough. But that's their second spell, so now this actually flips. Which not too bad for me. Eventually I'll have a multiverse. So I have Jace as well now. I could use Deadly Cover Up. I could just Jace minus. I definitely want to do something so that doesn't flip. Eventually I can breach the multiverse, which is great. I can just Jace. I can double Jace, I guess. And they can kill one, but not both. Oh, that's good. I'd send the turn. I can go for Troad. The Graveyard Trespasser. Mm, and I don't know what I discard though. It's rough, right? It's rough. I'm giving them the trigger. I mean, they don't kill my... You know what? They do not kill my Jace. So I'm going to let it happen. I don't want to minus anyway. Like, there's no minus. I always have to plus. And if they cast something like a Shieldred... Okay... Now, now, what do I do? Go for Troll is great, but if they play another creature, I'll definitely want a deadly cover up. They do not have counters, which is important to know. This will enter tapped. Mm, a lot of decisions I have to make. I love the long goodbye here. I could also use it on Lily. I'll use Jace. And I'll minus Jace. 
That way I draw, and then when that Liliana happens, Focus on the facts. I can also discard the other card I got. In this case, I can discard the whale. So all in all, not too bad. So the Liliana plus whale is great, but whale goes. So they have cut down. That makes sense that they are not using the cut down. But what cards do they have? Can they survive this breach of the multiverse? That's the question. I mean, that card is very good. Ooh, they want to steal some cards. But that's going to take time. Should we think that it's also great, by the way? So let's start by drawing a bit. No secret escapes my grasp. Let's draw this card. Ooh, okay, so from my graveyard I have interesting options. From their graveyard I might go for Shielded. Wandering Emperor though is also pretty good. I can go like super friends because they also have they have so many things. Kinda wanna go with the planeswalker. Let's go with this one. And let's go with the whale. I don't mind if the Shooter's Edict gets... So they have my cards now, so they might have a deadly cover-up. We'll see. We'll see, we have a lot of good creatures. Part of... Okay, that destroys one creature. I don't know if it's the best use for 3 mana. Ah, okay, so they want me to sack. That makes sense. And now they Sorin. That's fair. They still have half of their deck, though. I mean, pretty good to know that they have that, I must say. So I want to use this. And I want to attack Lily here. They meal. Then I'll have Shudrud's Edict. I'll take care of that Soren. Each player sacrifice its opponent sacrifice the Planeswalker. Then I'll plus Jace. And then I will create a 0-0, zero zero, cause why not? Like if they wanna use the Deadly Cover-Up, go ahead. Spend your mana casting that Deadly Cover-Up just for one creature. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. Oh no, they can steal my Jace and kill me. Let's see if they do so. They did. Damn it! No! No! The meal player gets milled. Oh my god. No! Ha <laughs> I mean, it's called a meal deck, I just didn't know I was going to be the one getting mealed. I mean, fair enough though, good game. Okay, opponent goes first. I guess I can keep this a bit awkward. Wait a second. Wait a minute. Not the best. More already is rough, but okay. At least I have the whale thing, I guess. Ooh, that's also pretty good. My go for it. Okay, so they don't want that card. They could have put it on the bottom, couldn't they? This might be a mistake. I've 
I feel like I have to start applying pressure. If I get a land, I can go for the throat and long goodbye, which is great. Is they're using a lot of resources on my Jace, so already ate two damage that I used to it. Okay, and now they had to use... Yeah, so that's a lot of damage that they had to give Jace. I'm going to try to get a land out of these. Oof, okay. Okay, they just conceded, I guess. I mean... We just need to win the first turns and then we're Gucci. I go first and I can keep. I would like to have one more land, but I feel like that can be achieved. Uh, so I'm just going to start with this Swamp, because I have nothing blue to do turn one. And if I want to use Cut Down, that way I don't have to lose life. Again, no land, I'm hoping, but I, at least if I'm not getting lands, it's against Mono Red, which I do have plenty of removal, so I'm not too mad about that. Mm, actually, you know what? Let's use the more expensive first. Because if I get a land, then I can do Cut Down and Shield Redict or even Fairy Mastermind. No land, that's rough. Let's use cut down here. I mean, I'm taking damage, but at a slower pace. Okay, that's a land. Tapped, but it's a land. them choose between one of those I'm going to take damage anyway so they should have chosen the other one because that way they would have drawn right yeah Ooh, they have even more yikes I need a way to get rid of that somehow I can play Jace fortunately I have to take one more damage Wow, okay. If they have lightning strike, that's enough. They do. Oh my god. That was right on the money. Sometimes they just got it exactly, don't they? Opponent goes first. I can keep it. Hopefully they're not playing mono red. They are not, okay. So we have a chance. We have a chance to shine. Probably the deuce. Ooh, okay, I was not expecting that actually. So it's Esper. Ooh, I got it wrong, okay. Next turn I'll be able to double spell, which is nice. Let's hope they don't counter these. Do they might have ways? To deal with my Tishana Tide Binder, but we'll see.
So that way they have to sack it. We both draw a card, but they don't get an extra card. So the timing was actually pretty good on these. Not too bad. And I still have my Jake's, Jake Awakening, the Deuce, cover up, a lot of good things. They might have like an Aklazor, but... Wedding announcement, that's fine, because it takes some time to go. So I want to plot the deuce. Not just have to pass. Like I feel like they have something, but I just cannot deduce what it is. Okay, so it's a uh, removal. They were waiting to see if they would want to use it there or not. It makes sense. I hope they commit to the board. They do. That's great for me. Because I have the deadly cover up. Can I exile the Aklazod? I think I can, right? Because it goes to the grave before you transform it. I'm not sure how that works, but I guess we will discover it. That's okay, because I do have the Deadly cover-up. Let me go for control. See, I can because before they get it back. They don't even have more in their deck. It's good also to see what they have. So now we know that they have one ring emperor and go for the throat. Those cards are good. But my Jays should give me some advantage. They also have this flipping, the wedding thing. So all in all, not too bad. Okay, so they're not going to do Wandering Emperor this turn, that's good. Good to know. Okay, so I have full information now. I want to exile the deduce. And yeah, I still have the long goodbye. But I think they'll have to go Restless and Crush to do a double attack on Jace. Okay, so they have Go for Throat on top. They have 8 out of 20 cards in the grave. So they just attack with one card. Which I'll long goodbye. And at this point, even the Wandering Emperor, I don't think it can compete with what my Jaces are doing. Because I'll have a free to do's, then I have 3 steps ahead, and after that don't, they don't do much. Okay, they have the Wandering Emperor, but what? I guess they want to do it before I counter, which is smart. Ah, okay, so they have a fairy mastermind. Let it resolve. No, 
not the best card to have exiled, I guess. Oof. All great cards, but in the end of the day we gotta choose. You gotta just go for the Danik. And we keep the go for Trolled in case they activate the... The Ink Rush. Well, in that case, I have to use it here. I'll lose one of my Jaces, but that's fine. I already got a lot of value from it. They know I have two, three steps ahead. They still have mana for dead. Go for the throat. It is important to know in case I try to rest this reef. Okay, so they got a land for free, that's fine. Ooh, the deuce is good. They have 30 cards left. That's not a lot. Oh, they go full on. They really want to destroy my Jace, makes sense, and not make me ulti. Let's see, maybe I'll draw. Oh, okay. That's not the Jace I thought they would go, would go for, to be honest. Maybe they're afraid of the breach of the multiverse. Oh no, it was like I thought. Ah, no! Why did they split it like that and left my boat Jaces alive? Yeah, okay, so it was a oopsie. I was confused, I was like, what are you doing, opponent? So they have 12, I still only draw a card, but I think it's worth it. No secret escapes my grasp. Now we're talking. cards that they have left? 18. Do they have anything that makes them meal? I'm not sure. So I could mill them quite a bit of cards, but I'll do this instead. Because I have another Jace, so it's a matter of time. So they have a cut down. That's okay. Because I have another Jace and they have 14 cards, so that should do it. Yeah, they're going all in to kill my planeswalkers, but it's going to be a bit too late. We just got them. This time they need to get it right, though. Last time they messed up the way they, they went for the planeswalkers. So they can kill all the planeswalkers, just one at each. Pretty easy, right? Okay, that's fine. 
Maybe they want to use a map. Oh. They want to kill me. Yes, they are thinking about a next turn kill. I guess it makes sense. But I have it. Let's make them meal all their cards. And... Got them. Took some time, but we got there. That said, y'all, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. I think we had some fun games today. I really had fun playing this deck. But let me know what you think. Even the losses, like that crazy loss where they milled me out. I mean, I cannot even be upset. It was fun. So I, I just think overall I'm enjoying Standard and I'm curious to see what's going to look like after the rotation and I'm excited to brew some fun decks for you all. I'm going to have early access, which means that on the 24th of July, I'm going to be able to start playing uh, for 24 hours in the test environment just with streamers. Uh, so from 25th of July and on, you can count with of decks for the new season. So only like two more weeks of this standard and then we have fresh new things to show all here on YouTube. That's it everyone, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!